hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima today we are going into another series i'm going to talk about 22 or more websites for medical students please note that i am still going to upload a dedicated video for each course i'm going to talk about websites for anatomy for physiology for biochemistry for physics chemistry biology if you're interested please comment down below so that i would know that there are certain people that are actually interested in seeing that please note that these websites that i'm about to mention are websites that are general online sites that will help you as a medical student all around so that's it let's get started so the first site i'm going to tell you about is anatomy zone everything anatomy is on that website please go check it out the second website is etlab the first time i actually bumped into this website i was like etlab what is this <laughs> but i discovered that the fact that it's called et does not mean that it, it's only about geography it actually has great anatomy content and its content went a long way to help me in my preclinical so check out etlab the other website i'm going to tell you about is teach me anatomy god if you are a medical student and you do not know teach me anatomy where are you studying your medicine teach me anatomy has helped me a whole lot it also has an app I'm, I'm going to upload a different video of applications that every medical student should have on their phones i'm going to upload that video so don't worry i got you so the next website i'm going to tell you about is teach me physiology oh my god they are so useful you need to check it out the next one is medscape god like medscape is not just for medical students but also for medical practitioners that want to get information quickly all you need to do is just to google whatever you're looking for and then put medscape at the end for example if you're searching for gross anatomy of the ear google gross anatomy of the ear and then type in medscape and then your results will be there for you and this actually applies to every other website i'm going to talk about that is for academics if you're looking for anything just for example search gross anatomy of the ear anatomy zone or gross anatomy of the ear teach me anatomy gross anatomy of the ear this and that and that and whatever you're looking for will appear another website i'm going to tell you guys of course it's obvious youtube youtube is a very very great website for learning for medical students so if you're looking for an online site or a website for medical students youtube has nearly everything that you need for your total well-being as a medical student youtube has every single video for you all you need to do is just to search and you'll find it another one is naira land Naraland is mainly for those in Nigeria do. Naraland is like a community of students. I've mentioned over and over again, as a medical student, you need to belong to a community. You cannot go through these six years alone try to join a community you get involved in their yeah, conversations you get to ask questions from those people who are in classes way ahead of you and you also be able to help out people in classes that are way below you another one is slide share god so many slides that i looked for in my preclinicals i found them on slide share all you need to do is for example gross anatomy of the ear slide share you will find loads of slides on slide share you can definitely download slide share just google download slide share slides and you will see how you'll be able to download whatever slide it is that you found out another one is anatomedia anatomedia is also very useful though there are some of their contents that you cannot access if you do not pay a particular subscription fee so look out for it but though if you can afford the subscription fee by all means it's very useful another one is physiopedia everything physiology everything physiotherapy everything that you need if you're looking for a particular information just google it as usual anatomy of the ear or physiology of the ear and put physiopedia you get your information out another one is wikipedia of course wikipedia helped me a lot so many times i know that there are some times that the information from wikipedia could not be correct that's like one out of thousands of cases so you should actually utilize wikipedia when necessary the problem with wikipedia is also that it's actually really really difficult to be patient enough to read the voluminous materials and information that wikipedia gives you but wikipedia can definitely help you out as a medical student another one is of course ken hub if you're a medical student and you do not know ken hub where are you studying your medicine ken hub helped me a lot you should check out their website i strongly strongly recommend ken hub check it out sorry guys this video is this short it's because i decided to do detailed research before uploading the rest of this video by tomorrow it's going to be out by the way i have a dedicated playlist for everything you need in medical school please check it out i remember your girl jemima see you tomorrow bye